Hi everyone, I'm Danielle. Today we're going to read Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schaffler. Ready? The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so widely it blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundery paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. I'm a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her head, but away blew the ball from her braid just like that. Oh no! Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the ball, but no ball could be found. Then, out from the tree, with a near-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the ball in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her braid in the ball. I'm a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the, bo the bird floated on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Oh no, look at the wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, lived a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, yeah, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... <gasps> the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a war that was scary and loud. I'm a dragon as mean as can be and witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, I will have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, 
and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it spouted as it strolled from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Boss off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I would be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up the cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily. The cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well, and while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Ixi, zixi, zekti, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom! with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end.